Hi there, and congratulations on getting your new hot tub. I bet you're excited to get in this thing and to start relaxing. But before you do, let's go over a few quick things on how to start your tub up. Before you fill your tub up, there is a few key important things like making sure your tub is turned off. You want to locate your disconnect box and make sure both breakers are turned in the downward position so your tub has no power. After that, you want to come over here and locate your drain for the hot tub. It's going to be sticking out on the side or it will be located in the front, but you want to make sure that your drain valve is turned all the way to the right so no water can escape once you start filling your tub. After making sure your tub electricity is off, you want to come to your tub's filtration compartment. On your Tropic C series, you will have two filters. You're going to remove this one cap that looks different from this guy here. Remove this one off and put your water hose all the way down inside of your tube until you cannot push it anymore, and then begin filling your spa. After your hot tub has filled up to the appropriate level, so you wanna make sure that you look at your highest jet, which is mainly a corner seat, and make sure the water is right underneath the pillows. You wanna put your, drain, your cap back onto your filtration compartment on your filter and then turn the power onto your tub. Go to your box, make sure both breakers are on in the upward position. After making sure your hot tub is filled up and powered on, you wanna find your chemical bag. Your uh, chemical startup is gonna come with a few key items here. On the frog at a system, it's gonna come with this right here. This is your frog uh, jump start, your silver ion, and your chlorine cartridge. First thing you want to do is remove the jump start package. You want to cut or tear at the corner, and you want to make sure that all the granules get inside of your hot tub, pour it in the middle here. After you pour it in the middle, turn your jets on for about five minutes to let it circulate evenly throughout the water. Then you want to come back to your chemical kit, and you want to grab the blue cartridge, which is going to be your, your silver and your minerals. This is going to last you around four months, but before you put this in your housing unit, you want to turn this to about a three. So leave this guy on three and you just turn it at the very top here and just turn that to three. Then you have your silver. This guy right here is going to be your chlorine concentrate. You want to turn this guy to about a three as well. Okay. Once both of these are turned to a three, you're going to step to the side of your tub where you find the housing unit is going to go. You can locate that by this guy right here. It's going to have a lid with a place to put your fingers. Turn that guy, remove the housing unit by turning this one this way here, pull it up. You have your chlorine that's gonna go on the bottom and you have your minerals, which is gonna go on the top. After you put these in correctly, you wanna put this housing unit back inside of the tub and then securely fasten the top of the lid. Make sure nothing gets out. Leave your tub running for about 10 minutes to get everything circulating through. After you uh, add these chemicals, you want to come over here and grab a silk gym pod. This is going to be one of the two pre-measured products once a week you're going to put inside of your tub to keep it clean. Open this guy up and put one pod in the middle of that. Let it circulate until it dissipates in the water. The next thing you're going to find is a scum bug. You're going to just tear the top of this open, remove the scum bug, and place this directly into your filtration compartment. Your weird door is going to float up with the water levels, so this guy can never get out. You always want this to be floating above your filters. Weekly maintenance on the spa is pretty simple. You want to do one and a half caps of enhanced shock once a week. So you'll open the shock up, and you'll. this is one cap right here. You don't want to put the whole solid cap. It's going to have an inline cap. One and a half of those once a week. And you do not add the shock to your first time startup. So if you've already added the jump start, do not add this guy right here. And you can save time and money by letting us ship your chemicals to your house every four months. So ask your salesman how you can do that. After you've added all of your chemicals to your hot tub, allow your tub to heat up 12 to 24 hours and then enjoy. Once again, we say thank you very much for your business and welcome to the Texas Hot Tub Company family.